the Joe Rogan experience. How did you feel about when people would play the game competitively and they would turn all the textures off? <laughs> so I... Yeah, that's uh, that especially is a sore point with the artists that have labored yeah. for years to build these glorious textures. And then you get the people that just turn them down. And there's two reasons to turn them down. You turn them down to help performance in some cases. In the early days, and especially the early graphics cards, you would get higher frame rate if you turned them down. So you'd have less latency in your response times. But there's also the even more nefarious thing about turning them all down to improve the contrast on your enemy acquisition. Yeah. I So people want this almost flat shaded world so that any moving set of pixels there just turn and fire at that. And that's, I am I never came to really great terms with that where I always thought on, in the early days of esports and gaming, we did always insist that people have to play with at least plausible resolutions there because we want our game to look good. We want yeah. people that are looking at it for the first time, seeing these professionals play it. I am, you know, we don't want them to look at that and say, well, this game looks like garbage. It's all flat shaded or blurry. Um, and luckily, computers got fast enough that people could start playing at the frame rates that they wanted, even with the full textures uh, running in it. I am, um, but the whole pace of doing the uh, kind of the esports and the competitive gaming was very interesting. We saw the dawn of that with Doom, but it's been pretty surprised. It's been amazing the state that it's taken. It's gotten to today where I remember when we did the Quake Red Annihilation tournament, I gave away my first Ferrari as grand prize. And I was thinking, really? this is just the most over the top thing. This is going to be unmatched for years. And it was only a year later that there was some other tournament with a hundred thousand dollar prize coming out. So that went on, went much quicker than I expected. And then today you have just the, the amazing celebrity of the top pro players. It's, uh, it's again, it's great to see the path that it's taken. It really is. And it's very interesting to see that they're now like legitimate sports stars and they make a ton of money. Whereas if you were a kid 10, 15 years ago, your parents would tell you, you're wasting your time. This is nonsense. Why are you playing these games? But now you have a legitimate opportunity to be a professional game player. Although I do... I get, I hate, there's a hazard there where. What's, what's this, Jamie? What are you pulling up? <clears throat> top earners this yeah. year uh, compared to the top uh, Tiger Woods, how much he won in the Masters and the top Indy 500 earner. So in Tiger Woods won $2 million in the Masters. The top Quake players won three million one hundred and twenty one eight hundred seventy two. <laughs> well, it's not Quake. What game is that? Dota. What is, what is that? What's Dota? Uh, it's a different it game up? than Quake, but it's, yeah. uh, it's very popular right now. What's it stand for? I've never even heard of it. It's a Valve game. Oh. I am, you know, it's a it's a MOBA, massively online battle arena game oh. where you're directing all the different little characters down there. And that along with especially League of Legends, even beyond that, I uh, not as uh, popular in the United States but is just amazing overseas where uh, they like if you look at the numbers for things, people think, "Oh, the Super Bowl, like the height of all competitive sports whatever." And the a lot of these esports games, especially in South Korea, are they dwarf those numbers. Really? And they some people are just Super very, Bowl. yeah, not aware of this, where you just get millions of people tuning in. And enormous arenas, too, yeah. right? They play in these gigantic places with huge, look at this, oh my God, <laughs> look at this arena. That looks like 30,000 people. That looks like a, a UFC event. Yeah, and, yeah, actually, yeah. a lot bigger than <laughs> UFC events. Is for that things. one? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know about that one in particular, well, but the they biggest, have some really enormous ones. Biggest UFC event we ever had was 55,000 people. Yeah, they've been well over that. That's crazy. That's amazing. 